Hi guys, today I was actually going to film something different, but I saw Becca Joe do this video and I was just like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. We're gonna do it right now. She said in her video, she was watching uh, Alexa Chan, and that's where she saw this from. And it is the Ingenue Blue trend, which was, I believe, created by Mac. I'm going to leave all the information down below. I'm going to leave uh, Becca Joe's channel, The Makeup Tax Lady, her link below, and Alexa Chan's video down below also. So everything will be there if you want to read up on it. What I was reading is it's basically like just like a blue trend. And Ingenue, I guess, means like... Um, like a young, naive, uh, I believe it's like in the cinema type of thing. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought it was fun. I watched Becca Joe's and I was just so inspired. I was like, I got to do this. So that's what we're doing today. I have pulled out a, quite a bit of palettes. So we're going to go through them and decide uh, how we got this eye look. But before we get started, hi, I'm Jenna, lover of eyeshadow. If you love eyeshadow or eyeshadow content, please be sure to subscribe. We would love to have you here. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go through the palettes with you guys and show you what I pulled out. The first one is Silent Night from Gourmand Girls. And this, I mean, it just has, it would have some great transition colors to start out with. It's got these great deep blues. And then we have these two shimmers. Let's swatch this one too. It looks white, but it has like a hint of blue in it. Okay. This is the one that looks white in the pan, but it has like just a tad bit of blue. You know, I'm going to, okay. And you can just see that hint of blue, the middle one right there. And I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I'm kind of thinking maybe, maybe matte with just like the inner corner and maybe coming out a little bit. I haven't really decided yet, but the next palette I picked out is Fatally Yours from Melt and Bailey Sarian, if I can get this open. But I mean, look at this blue. This one is blue leaning. So I thought these two would be very interesting. Now, when I first watched the video, this palette is the one that automatically popped into my head. And it is Heaven on Earth from Sydney Grace. Oh, yes. And I actually think I'm going to pick it, maybe this for the transition. But I mean, this one is so beautiful. So, oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm on this side. All right, the next one I have is Spring Magic from Unearthly. And you can see I have blues up there. I'm going to swatch this shimmer because I'm just kind of looking for, I'm going to show you um, on the MAC website. They give you like um, example pictures to look at. And this is the one that really inspired me. My problem is, is I just can't stop with one or two shadows. I just like to keep piling them on. So <laughs> I'm going to use that one kind of as inspiration. This one is from the Spring Magic, but I think I'm leaning more towards maybe this one so far. All right. The next palette I picked out is Twisted Tea Party from Ensley Rain. Of course. I mean, look at those blues. I think these are going to be a bit deeper, but have that blue right there to work with. I think these are going to be a bit more deeper than I'm wanting, but you never know, you know, once I get started. Okay. These two are from the Inzy Rain. And then also from Inzy Rain, Cosmic Dreamer. This blue is really, really calling to me. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. Um, my brain's kind of trying to decide what we're doing. And the last palette I picked out is Blends from Blend Bunny. And I mean, lots of blues in here. So, hmm. I don't know that blend, that blue that from Cosmic Dreamer that I just saw is really calling to me. So it's time to get started, guys, and see what we, what we end up with. All right. For the transition, I think I definitely want to come in with this color right here. And I'm, I, I want to do it differently this time. I think that is what really caught my eye about the video. It's just like, I just felt like it was like, if you have your friends over and you're in your room and you're playing around with me and you're playing around with makeup, experimenting, I think that was my favorite part of the video. So that's what I'm planning on doing is just playing around today. This was a bit darker than I anticipated. That's okay. Okay. 
All right, I think I'm gonna go, let me get a bite of brush here. Hmm, I think I'll use this one. I don't know if I want this color. I want to go in with a lighter blue up towards the front. And this one's more deep than I want. Oh, hold on. Okay, let's see this one. It's very bright. I don't know if I want it that bright. All right. Very bright. <laughs> We're going very bright. Okay. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Let me try this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in with Dream. I think I need, I think I want a different brush. But let me even it up on this side first. I think I just want to go in with a more diffused look up here. All right, so now I'm going into a very big fluffy brush, and I'm going to tap into that same color. And I'm going to kind of bring it out up over the top of my other, my original. I'm going to go in with this white. I'm going to bring that in and I want to tone this part down just a little bit. And I'm going to bring it down. Now, what do we want to do next? Okay, I'm thinking about taking this and then just putting this one like all over the eyelid. Okay, I am. I'm going to go in with this one from the Cosmic Dreamer palette. Mm, that's so funny. Oops, I am getting some fallout though. I must have forgot to tap because I don't have the fallout on the side like I did on the other side. I was so excited. All right. Now I want to go to the lower lash line. I'm kind of thinking if I want to. Mm, I don't really think that's. Well, that's so beautiful, but not really what I am thinking. I'm thinking of something maybe like white and sparkly. Maybe I'll go in with some white shadow and then go over with something like maybe like this. Oh, and there's white shadow in this one. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to go in with a fat smudger brush and I'm going to go in with just the white. See if I can. There we go. Before I end up pressing it in my skin. Okay, well, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I'm gonna pick up this one, and I'm just going to uh, spray it and put it on the bottom. You just see how it looks. This is so fun. Wow. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to decide on a shimmer. And I think I am going to go back to the silent night. And I am, let's see, I think it was this one that I'm thinking about using. I think I, I think I am. We're just going to try it. I'm going to use a brush and I'm going to spray it because I want it like a scattered type of shimmer. Let's see what we get. All right. 
tapping into that one. And I'm going to fling it off because I don't want a lot. If I, if I have to, I will, oh, I'll go tap into more. Okay, and I basically just want to keep it in that front. I'm trying to decide if I want to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tap in a little bit more. I'm going to do it off again. I think I'm going to bring it up here. And let me go back in with, I just want to clean this up a little bit. I don't want too much. I just want a little bit. Maybe I should have gone in with a smaller brush. I'm going to try it on this side. Which one am I going to use? All right. So I'm going to go in with um, Dose of Colors, a Dose of Colors brush, and I'm going to just tap lightly. Again, I'm going to shake off that, spray it, and then see if I can just get it because I don't want it everywhere. I just kind of wanted it up here. Yeah, I think the smaller brush was the way to go. Just a little something. Yeah, I think I like that better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, and I bet you thought we were done. I'm not done yet. I might as well just go all out today. All right, I'm going to tap into Silent Night to this black. I'm going to try a little something. I think I want to, yeah, let's, and I'm going to keep this right at the corner. I'm going to bring it out. I am also going to um, go in with a black eyeliner right there. Trying to decide between these two. I know they look exactly the same. This is like a uh, really deep navy blue. And this is more like, a, yeah, you can see this one is like a black blue. And then this one is just, I, that would be more like a strict navy blue. I think I'm going to go in with this one where it has more blue in it. So it's this one. And I just want to... I'm going to go from blue to the black. All right, I'm now going to go back in with this one that I had the shimmer on. And I'm just see here, I just want to blend it just a little bit. Kind of hard to remember which ones you've tapped into. No, not that one. <laughs> Still having trouble. All right, I'm going to come back to Cosmic Dreamer. So I'm going to tap back into this one a little bit more. So you notice it's not quite at the edge over here where the black is meeting. And I'm just going to bring back that mat a little bit on both sides. Oh, well, I guess it would help if I see how I'm so excited over here. Yeah, that'd probably look a lot better. I was so excited to move on to the next step. All right, where's my brush? I wonder if I should have tried a smaller brush. You know what? I'm going to try it. Because that's what this is all about. Sitting down, having fun, just playing with some makeup. All right, so I'm back with the Dose of Colors. And I'm going to tap back into this one. Picked up a lot. Okay, I'm going to spray. And again, I'm going to come into here. Yeah, I don't feel like it's picking up enough. So I am going to go back with my original brush if I can find it. There it is. Oh, that color is so pretty. Much better. I just, I can't stop myself. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do these videos anymore. I just can't keep, I can't stop. And I'm going to go back into 
Now I'm going to go back into the blends palette. Back into the white. And I'm just going to I'm not really sure if that's even going to make a difference. Yeah, I don't think that's showing up the way I was hoping it would. Okay, that's okay. I grab some black eyeliner, which I'm going to put just on the edge right here. Then I was looking, I was hoping I had a baby blue. I swore I did, but I do not see anything. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna try this. This is Aqua from Moya Cosmetics, number 16. It's like a little darker than I wanted. I wanted like a bright baby blue. All right, guys. I think where we're at right now, I'm gonna stop. I'm going to go uh, finish my makeup and put on some lashes and we're going to see how it's looking and see if we want to tweak anything. So I'll be right back. This is the final look, guys. What do you guys think? I love it. I love the way it turned out. I had so much fun doing this. I can't even believe this. I can't believe it. That's so much fun. Let me tell you what I finished off with. For blush, I, I didn't want to go in, I didn't want to take away from the eye look, so I just went in with Benefit's Dandelion. I love Dandelion for like cool tone looks, and especially in the winter because um, I get more light, and it's just like, I don't know, it's just like the perfect color that doesn't overdo it. So if you're looking for a blush for cool tone looks, I highly recommend Dandelion from Benefit. I will get this up as soon as possible, but I believe it's Saturday. Oh, I don't even know what the date is. What is the day? Is it the 7th, Saturday, uh, September 7th? I think Benefit blushes will be half off at Ulta. I want them. I want them so bad. For lip liner, for lip liner, I went in with Milani's Nude Entrance along with ColourPop's BFF. I just used this one to uh, blend this one out a little bit. I went in with Lazy Daisy from Dosa Colors. I love Dosa Colors. For the center, I tapped it out with Can You Not from Dosa Colors. I love their lip products. I love them. Oh, and then for uh, the inner corner, I tapped in with Twilight from an Earthly. I'm going to try to open this, but mine came shattered, so I try not to. It's not too bad. It's just like down here. It got a little shattered, so I, I'm trying to think. But it's basically like, um, I don't have it, but I'm assuming it's like Fenty's diamond bomb is that what it was called it's just like like a little diamond thing i just went in there but i hope you guys like this i loved doing this and i definitely am going to be doing this some more and um i think that's about it <laughs> all right guys uh, if you like this you know what to do like subscribe and i'll see you next time